So we've got two different kinds of pollution we're going to look at. Okay? We've got point source pollution and non-point source pollution. Okay? Point source pollution is going to be pollution that you can walk up and point to. Make sense? So we're going to be able to say pollution is coming out of a pipe right there. Okay? So we're going to look at some different kinds of pollution on here. I'm going to get you guys to tell me what kind of pollution it is. Okay, whether it's point source or non point. I want you to pour that or your hands up. Okay? Keep on pouring. That's good. Okay, so what we have what we have over here is a factory or some sort of manufacturing plant, okay? That's got some wastewater that comes out of it. Okay? So we've seen what happened there. The water comes out, it's polluted, and where's it go? Pollution. Right into our stream, right? Into my table. You seen how clear this was when we started? Mm -hmm. This could be a lake or a river. This just represents the main water source in our water stream, okay? So we've seen how the pollution goes straight down the river and right, or straight down the creek and right into the river. Okay. What kind of pollution is that? A point source. How come? Because it's a point to it, right? But that can be many factors. So if we were on this creek and we come up here and say, man, this water's polluted and we kept going and we kept going, we could trace that back and say, hey, look, that stuff's coming out of the pipe, right? We could point to it and say that's point source pollution. So the other kind of pollution we're going to look at is non-point source pollution, okay? And this is spread out along a large area. This could be hundreds of acres or thousands of acres. Uh, that pollution is coming through runoff, through water that hits the ground from rain and pushes over into a lake or a stream. You're not going to hurt it. Thank you. Okay, so this is going to represent all the construction we have in our area. How many of you seen construction by your houses at some time? Yeah. Yeah, we, we have it everywhere, it's whether it's like road construction or building a house or building another building. Uh, you know, we have construction all over the place. So what's one of the first things they're going to do whenever they build a building? Good answer. You've got to, before you can put a building in place, you have to have a flat surface, right? You can't build it on a hillside very well without flattening off a spot for foundations. The same thing goes for roads. We have to flatten that out, so it takes a lot of dirt work. So when we come in here with our bulldozer or our backhoes, our tractors, what are we doing whenever we move that soil? We're going to level it, but we're going to move all the grass and all the trees, right? So what holds the dirt down that was on the hillside? The grass and the trees, right. So now we've got all this loose soil up here, okay, with nothing to hold it down. So volunteer? You got enough. You got enough. So it starts to rain. It starts to rain on our hillside and there's nothing to hold that soil down. Now all this soil that was on the hillside is going to come right off the side, right? That's good. Thank you. And where's it going whenever it falls off the hillside? Into the lake. Down right here. Right into the lake. Right. I saw it. So you start to see it come in. Now our, our nice clean lake is starting to get a little nasty, right? Now we've got all the soil that's moved down the creek. And what problems does that cause? Why do we care if there's a little bit of dirt in the water? It starts to take oxygen out of the water, that's right. So as, as the plants start to grow from all of those extra nutrients, at some point they start to die. And then whenever they're decomposing, the oxygen is getting used up in the water. So now we have a bunch of water with real low oxygen content. What do fish need to live in the water? So if there's no oxygen, what's going to happen to them? So now we've got this muddy water here with a bunch of dead fish. It doesn't sound too good anymore, does it? So that's one of the reasons we're kind of concerned about too much soil coming in off these bare hillsides and coming into water. Make sense? So what kind of pollution is this? Give me a couple drops right here. There you go, a couple drops up there on this side. Good job. It's like oil. That's kind of okay, so this is going to represent a neighborhood. How many of you have neighbors? You have a oh, bunch yeah. of houses around you? Oh, we have or even a couple houses around you. That's what this represents, okay? This is going to be like a subdivision or a neighborhood. Uh, we only have you know four houses up here, but this could be a hundred houses. What are some of the ways that we can pollute the water from our houses? That's right. Uh, what specifically causes it from changing oil in your car? Getting over on the road? That's right. So this could be a big oil spot. 
and we changed our oil and we didn't clean it up. If we put water out here on the on the road or on the sidewalk, what happens to it? It could go, it, it, it could go through up, the pipes and through the sewer and down. down. It doesn't soak in, does it? Water doesn't soak in the pavement very well, does it? So it just runs off. As it runs off, what are some of the things that can collect as water starts to move down the street? Dirt, grass clippings. Grass clippings, cans, bottles, trash. Anything yeah. in its path. Everything that lands out here in the yard and in the sidewalk is going to come down this flow of water. Unless it's cold, it's, it's been, it's, unless it's cold down. It's That's right. That's right. But there's nothing to hold it down in the road, is there? Okay. What about out here in our yard? What are some of the things that we could do to cause pollution out here in our yard? Trash? Grass Manure? Manure? Maybe, uh, you know, we might not have manure in our yard, but we could have, you know, from the dog. You know, uh, maybe we didn't clean up after our dog well. Maybe we uh, come out here with fertilizer, put a bunch of fertilizer out in our yard, and you know, maybe more than we need it to. Yeah, you could over fertilize your garden or, or you know, gardens or tilled up areas kind of like this. If they're, if it's on a real steep slope, the water can move through your garden and move a bunch of soil out in it. What else? Like weed killers and pesticides? Yeah, that's another good one. Uh, pesticides, you know, if we uh, maybe sprayed for bugs. So all of those things that we just talked about are in the yard and on the sidewalk and carport, okay? So now we're going to make it rain. Where, Where do you think it's going? Down on the pipes. There you go. There you go. Keep it raining. It's right. starting to spread out, isn't it? So where's the water going right now? Into down the pipe and coming through here, probably going to go. And it's like going around the house. It's yeah, you can see it's starting to pool around the house here, it's starting to go into the storm drain, isn't it? And coming through here and going down here. So now where's it going? That's good. It's like crystals. Yeah, it's a lot of rain. It's like, yeah, it's long rain. It's like, We've had a lot of rain lately. Look like crystals. Okay, guys, remember don't touch. Don't touch. It's okay. So you seen where it went in the storm drain? Mm -hmm. Went in the storm drain here. Where did it come out? Into the into, into the, the pipe, through the pipe, into the creek. And into the creek. Did anything uh, treat this water before it come out of the creek? Yeah, no. Nothing. And that's the same thing that happens on most of our streets. Anything that goes in the storm drain is going to come out in the creek. Okay, or it's going to come out in the drainage ditch, which is going to lead to a creek. Or whatever. So that's something to think about. If you see cans floating down the street whenever we have a lot of rain, you know where they're probably going to go. We're probably coming right over here. And that's just the things we can see. There's a lot of things that we can't see in the water that's getting pushed in there, too. And, and there's other fluids that can come out of cars, too, like what about antifreeze? Antifreeze can kill your pets. You know, if we were changing the antifreeze in our car or adding a little more and we dumped some, you know, that's a, that's a lot of pollution there that could come down the sidewalk the same way. And it could hurt, it could hurt a kid, it could hurt a pet. It's very, very toxic. So what kind of pollution do we have right here? So we, we can be pretty sure if water's coming down the street here, that it's somewhere up here, right? But can you tell me which exit? We can tell it came from like this kind of yard because it's... You can, you can have a good idea that yeah, it came from this neighborhood, but maybe it came from one of these houses, maybe it came from one or two. It's real hard to come back to this drain and say, oh, it's this house. We really can't do that, right? Okay. Now, what if we're out here in the lake and we come back up this little river and we start seeing all this pollution right here? What, kind of, what, what is this right here? What kind of pollution is that? Point source, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We can point to this spot, right? Make sense? So then we come up here to the top of this storm drain, so where did it come from now? So that's where it can kind of get tricky is figuring out where this pollution came from. And that's one of the hardest parts about non point source pollution. What about our farm over here? Put, uh, put just like a drop right there. Good job. Okay, so farmland looks a whole lot like what that we've already done up here? That construction. Yeah, construction. Why, does it, why is it similar to the construction? Yeah, because uh, we've tilled this field up, you know, we've been working, we've removed the grass, the trees, you know, we're planting a crop over here, but right now there's no cover, right? So, it's raining again on us. Three times already. Bad rain. A lot of rain, isn't it? It's like blind. 
Well, okay. we know it's go oh, we know where it's coming it. from now. Keep we raining, from this, keep raining. this spot in particular oh. here, but how many farms are there in our watershed? Ten. Twenty. A bunch, right? Ten. So it'd be really hard if we were standing here in the lake to come back and say it came from this one. Now, somebody who wasn't here yesterday, uh, give me a good way of helping this problem. What could we do to keep the water from running off? Okay, um, a levy, yeah, we might be able to do that. But what would be the purpose of the levy? What would happen after you dam the water? Defensive off. It would all overflow over here. Okay. So what do we want it to do? Once we stop it from going in, what do we want it to do? Do we just want it to sit on top of the ground? Is that what we want it to do? We can treat it. Treat it? What, what would happen if uh, we gave it room to soak in? What we want to see is the water that's coming across here, we want it to stay on the ground. Now, uh, nature has a great filtering system for water, and that's the soil. The rocks, the sand, all of these things do a great job of filtering water as it's moving. So anything that we could do right here to stop or slow down that water and make it soak in would help. What's in a garden? What's in a garden? Dirt. Soil. Grass, trees, plants. We could plant all of this with different kinds of plants, right? What if we had a bunch of grass right here and a bunch of trees? Would that slow the water down? Yeah. Yeah, because it would kind of make the trees roots over here. It would kind of block off the water. That's right. It's going to, anything that, you know, we'll call that resistance, okay? Anything that kind of makes that water slow down a little bit is going to help it soak into the soil, right? So we'll look at something over here. Make it rain over here on construction site. That's good. You see, she just put all that water on the side of that hill, and what happened? That was a grass. Don't touch it. That's right. So, this little fell strip could be grass, right? Could be some sort of plants, trees that we put right through here. You see how it made it slow, slow the water down, and it stopped it, didn't it? So that's what we want. You think that'd work over here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think it would. No. It would help. It's not going to stop all the water, but it would help. Because this is even more steep. That's right. It would take even more to slow this down than we're up here, wouldn't it? Very good, right? Okay, so what's your view? What kind of pollution is this? Point. Point. Okay, what about your point? Point. 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 Point.